It's the Tom Sox Couples Game Show. Now, the man we've all been waiting for, Brett Centracchio. And we're live with Tom Sox TV here in the Tom Sox Couple Game Show. I'm here with Team 1, the Stanford boys. We got Nick Thing 1 or and Nick 2, Belafronto. And they're facing off against the Ivy Leaguers, the Harvard boys. We got Pat Pert McCall. Hello. And we got Jake Beefcake Allen. My name's Beef. All right, so here's how things are going to work. We're going to ask the inside people a question about the outside people and see how well they know each other. So first question, Nick 2, what is Nick 1's birthday? Pat, what's Beef's birthday? Write down your answers. All right, let's see. You ready? One point per correct answer. <laughs> we got the year, too? <laughs> we got the six of the year? All right, yeah, Nick. May something. May something. April 24th, 97. Oh, no points. Excited. Pat said 6 9 96, and we got it. <laughs> we can tell who the true friends are here on the Tom Sox. Point one, Harvard boys. <laughs> All right, we'll go on to question number two. So Nick one, how many siblings does Nick two have? Beef, how many siblings does Pert have? Think about it, long and hard. And while they're writing their questions down, if you could give me a quick follow on Instagram, at Brett50Cent, Twitter, at Brett50Cent, that would be awesome. Thank you. How many siblings does Pat have, not including Pat? You got it? All right, let's start with Beef. How many? Three? He says three. Pat says three. Point Harvard boys. See if Stanford's holding up. One. One sibling. The Stanford boys stole a point, too. <laughs> One sibling. All lowercase. All right, next round. Next round. Nick two. What is Nick one's shoe size? Pert. What's Beef's shoe size? I've got like a range. I can fit in many. I know your shoe size. But what are your thoughts here? Uh, I don't know. It looks like a 13. I'd have to. Uh, he may be right. He may be wrong. I don't know. All right, let's check it. Show us your answer, Stanford boys. 13, 13 point for Stanford boys. 10 to 11, 10, I'm not giving it, no point, no point Harvard boys. Just write a number down, you got a better shot. That was not a Harvard move right there, Beef, not a Harvard move. Let's see, can we get a score update real quick, what are we at? Stanford 2, Harvard 2, after th two questions, or three. <laughs> All right, let's flip it back, Harvard boys. Jake, what is Pat's major? Nick one, do you know Nick two's major? Let's see it. Jake says econ. Econ is right. What does Nick one say? Nick says econ. Nick two says public policy. Oh, that's a little. That's not economic. Nick one. It's all right. All right. Question number five. Who are we asking? Ask Pat about you. Yeah. Okay, Pat. Hey, Pat. Hey, Brett. What's up? Hey, Brett. How many pets does Beef have? Nick two. How many pets does Nick one have? Yeah. Just a guess. Probably not a range like Jake was doing with the shoes, but just go with a number. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Pat says one dog, Raylan, sleeps in bed. You spelled, oh, I spelled Raylan right. There we go. Point Harvard, boys. One Raylan. Let's see what the Knicks say. Nick Orr has one pet. I think it's a dog. One. Is it a dog? It is a dog. There we go. Point Stanford. It's 3-3. Three, three. Is it 3-3? Three, three? It's 4-3 three Harvard. All right. All right. We're about to get a little bit more complicated now. That was all the basic stuff. Oh, a doggo, hey. All right, next question here. 
on Tom Socks Celebrity Game Show, couple game show. Nick, who am I asking? I'm asking Nick one if he, Nick two could only eat one food for the rest of his life. What's he eating? You guys have the same name. You should know this. Jake, do you know it about Pat? Yes. If Pat could eat one food. <laughs> Pat looks like a big fish guy. What? No comment. Okay. Yeah, any day now, Pat. Jake, how do you feel about your answer while Pat's writing it down? I haven't put it down yet. I'm pretty sure. Well, let's write it down. Okay, I'll, I'll work on it. Thanks, Pat. I mean, Jake. <laughs> All right, let's do the Stanford boys while we're waiting. Yeah, prime rib. Prime rib. Oh, prime rib. <laughs> prime rib for a snack? That's awesome. No, it's just a food. Never mind. <laughs> That's an expensive food. Beef. Beef says beef. Ah, oh, sushi. I like the answer. <laughs> I like the answer. All right, our score update, 4-4. Four, four. Prime rib from the rafters. That was awesome. All right, next question. Let's start with the Knicks this time. Nick 2. What's Nick 1's favorite ice cream flavor? What? <laughs> yes. Just guess. All right, Pert, what's beefs? Let's start with the Stanford boys again. Cookies and cream or what we got? Oreo or – I'll give it. We'll count it. We'll count it for the Stanford boys. What about the range of favorite? That's not a range. Beef. Beef is his favorite ice cream. Yes. Beef for the win. I love it. They're just going to write that for every question now, and they're going to win, unfortunately. What does beef ice cream taste like? Like – Beef, like, like beef, exactly. All right, next question. <laughs> that's awesome. Next question. Let's let's just start Harvard this time. I'm asking Jake. What is Pat's favorite pregame snack? <laughs> I don't think it's beef. Nick one. What's Nick two's favorite pregame snack? While we're waiting, come out to uh, Seville Wiki Ballpark in two days for our home game. You should come. Let's go Stanford. What you got? What's his favorite pregame snack? Party Dave. Party Dave, they got it. That's collusion. Uh, no point, no point. Party Dave. Party Dave. What would you like to say? Uh, I'm just thankful for the Stanford boys that they appreciate me. Party on, Dave. <laughs> what do the Harvard boys got? PB and J, fried chicken. Ugh. One's pretty healthy. One is way off the map. No point. No, no points for anybody. Five five right now. There you go. All right, next question. I lost it. There it is. Let's start with this side. No, no colluding. I hear some collusion. What? Is hey Pert? <laughs> it's gonna be beef. What is what is beef's favorite sports team? Oh, I know this one. All of the sports. All, All of sports. sports. What's Nick Mullen's favorite sports team? All right, beef. What is it? Astros. Astros. Point Harvard boys. Nope. Astros counts. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Red Sox. Red Sox. Ooh. Looks like we know each other a little bit more since we're getting longer in this game. <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> All right, next question. Let's go. Is it Nick two? No, Nick one. Nick two. Nick two. What is Nick one's favorite music genre? Nick one. What is Nick two's favorite music genre? And beef. What's Pat's favorite music genre? Looks like Hawaiian, Pat. Or tropical. How are we feeling? Are we feeling confident? Nick one, we feeling confident? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. What you got? Let's go Stanford first. EDM at Britolani. EDM. Oh, Raver Dave knows about some EDM. I'd just like to add a secret to this. Jake and I have been listening to some some interesting music. What's that interesting music? 
Psychedelic indie rock. Ooh, is that Max? Beef? Just in a <laughs> Psychedelic rock, Hikagoju Moyo. <laughs> How do you say? Hikaku Moyo. I don't want to go to a concert with these guys at all. <laughs> Point both. <laughs> Who am I asking now? Outside. Outside. Beef. Hello. Beef, how's it going? Good. I'm a little thirsty right now. What'd you do today? I uh, swam a lot and swam some more. Did you swim better than Aqua Dave? No, Aqua Dave had me beat. It's pretty good. You're right, you're right. All right. So if I were to ask you about Pert, one, one thing he couldn't live without. One thing. Nick one, same for Nick two. What's one thing that Nick two could not live without? They're getting ready. All right, Harvard, same time. Three, two, one, go. Ranger Dave! Again! Where's Dave? Oh, he's partying somewhere. <laughs> All right, Dave. Point Harvard. Stanford, let's flip it. Three, two, one, go. Pre-workout. This whiteboard. Not a big pre-workout guy, are you? <laughs> That's brutal. So we're, we're down How can one? we get disqualified when we say party day, but Ranger Dave is acceptable? <laughs> <laughs> Which Dave's well, do we use? Score update. What is it? <laughs> we're down one. Eight seven Harvard. What's Nick One's favorite hobby, other than baseball? Pert. Do you know this about Jake? AKA Beef. AKA Beefcake. All right, let's go Harvard boys first. Harvard, three, two, one, flip. Surfing. Yeah, there he is. Some California right there. Point Harvard. Let's see the Stanford. Three, two, one, flip. Architecture stuff, LOL. Looking at architecture. I'll count it. <laughs> that is a Stanford hobby right there. <laughs> Nick one. What's Nick two's? Does he have any superstitions? Well, what are they? <laughs> Jake, what's Pert's superstitions? Are you guys roommates at Stanford? No, uh, we're, we live close, though. Oh, nice. Are you guys roommates at Harvard? Indeed. We can see why they are winning right now. Okay. Let's check it. Stanford, three, two, one, flip. Not applicable, no superstitions. I'll count it. That's fine. <laughs> three, two, one, flip. <laughs> Nothing. Kiss Ranger Dave before every AB. <laughs> Not wrong, but Pat doesn't think the same. All right. But let's see. We got a tie game. We're at 9-9 with uh, four questions left. So we'll see. <laughs> Would you like to speak on these comments that Jake has made on you? No comment. <laughs> Where's Dave? All right. Next round. Hey, Pat. Hey. What's up, Bert? Hey, Pat. Hey. What's his biggest fear? Uh, write it down. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know exactly what All right, what's Nick One's <laughs> biggest fear? Yeah. All right, Stanford, flip. One, two, three. Heights. Yeah. Heights. There we go. Point Stanford. Let's see what Harvard does. Three, two, one, go. Losing Ranger Dave. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm not going to count it because you're saying he's afraid of Ranger Dave. <laughs> Pat clearly is not afraid of losing Ranger, <laughs> losing Ranger Dave. Point Stanford, no point Harvard. Next round. I see we only got two left now. With the with the Stanford boys up 10-9. We'll start we'll start with you guys. Nick one. Who is Nick two's celebrity crush? Hey cake. Cake. What's Pert's favorite celebrity crush? I don't think Ranger Dave is applicable. <laughs> We can no longer answer Ranger Dave, unless it's who the best-looking guy on the Tom Sox is. How are you feeling about this, Pat? I'm thinking. Okay. Are you guys ready? No. I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, flip it. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, Jennifer Aniston. Oh, friends, that's a good show. That's a bold call. <laughs> I like how you hey. want the man, though. Hey, hey, me. tap me up. <laughs> tap me up. Nice, nice pick. All right. No, don't flip it yet. 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 <laughs> Jake, you almost done? Yeah, he didn't write it. Uh, wow. All right. Is that a person? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I saw who it was. He's cheating. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry. Yeah, you didn't write it. Yeah, it's ASAP. 
<laughs> All right, go. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Ariana Grande. That's also a good one. All right, so what's the score? Uh-oh, we got 15 Stanford. No, not that's 10. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> 10 Stanford, 9 Harvard. Going to the final question. What will Jake do in his life after baseball? Nick 2, what will Nick 1 do in his life after baseball? If you guys get this, you win. So I hope he writes the right answer. I hope so, too. Let's see. Let's go Harvard first. Lawyer. Surf slash law. That's like a range of shoes. We'll see what they say. We might count it. What we got? Practicing architecture. What you got? Design stuff with architecture. LOL. Stanford wins. You can give them the point just because it was law. But final score, Stanford 11, Harvard 10. I'm your host, Brett 50 Cent. Thank you so much for coming out today. Follow me on Instagram right up here. Follow me on Twitter right there. If you can put it in somehow. But, yeah. Thank you guys for playing. Can we get a quick hug, both of you guys? And you two also? Hug. You guys won. Hug. <laughs> Please. There we go. All right. Thank you guys for coming out. Come to Siva Weekly Ballpark in two days for our home game. And that's, a, that's our show. <laughs>